Routing is an important part of how the internet works. We've connected all these computers together. We have some idea about how to structure the way that they talk to each other, but how are they actually going to move data across this huge computer network? Almost all the computers that are connected to the internet aren't directly connected to each other. They're connected to other computers that are 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 connected to the computer that they're trying to communicate with. And so getting data from one point to another on the internet becomes something that's pretty important. It's also something that's quite challenging because the performance of internet routing affects how fast data moves from place to place. The stability of internet routing affects how much uh, data we have to transmit in order for it to get things to work. Um, the robustness of internet routing affects how the internet responds to transient failures, links going down, power outages, various places that might knock things offline. Routing is a pretty interesting topic. Now, when you think about routing, traffic isn't a terrible metaphor. Just like routing, people get into a car at one place and are trying to get somewhere else. And just like routing, getting to another place involves a series of decisions that the drivers have to make. Um, unlike an important distinction between routing and driving is that on the internet, the decisions about how packets are transmitted from place to place are made by the infrastructure itself. They're not made by the packets, unlike drivers who are making decisions about how to get from point A to point B. But just like drivers, there are lots of different ways to get from one part of the internet to another, just like there's lots of different ways to get probably from your house to school or from your uh, apartment here back to your home, wherever you live. And so to some degree, routing has similarities with traffic flow. Um, the other thing, you know, you may have met someone in a city, maybe you've interacted with someone when you've been on vacation who's come up to you and said, oh, how do I get somewhere? And to some degree, that's how internet routing works. Packets arrive at a router, the router makes a decision about what to do with them. So it's like, you came into this traffic circle, there are one, two, three, four entrances to this traffic circle. And rather than knowing which entrance, you ask the traffic circle, what entrance should I go out? The traffic circle would say, okay, well, if you're going to these dorms, you should exit out this exit. If you're going to Davis Hall, you should exit over there. So the router is making decisions about where packets should go. Packets arrive at one uh, part of the router and they exit out a different destination. Routing also involves protocols that routers use to exchange information about how to reach various parts of the internet. So routing is a really interesting problem um, and it has a real important impact on how the internet performs. Craig, there's internet in here. I'm pretty sure there's, the internet is down there. I think if we could get in there, we'd have a better connection. So this is, looks kind of heavy. I want to get into the internet. I think this would be a place to start.